Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and do you remember this from a China Fix episode? Well, I got a comment about it. From Wometi, and it says about satisfying and fix, although, you know, they're actually worthless, but then it says here, look, the flip clocks still have some value, especially if you can find the exact model from Groundhog Day. Which is this one here. I got back and said I would like to see the inside of a flip clock and I'm going to check it out on eBay, see if there's any faulty ones. And then I got a message from I am Stuart 87 saying I have a 40 bush flip alarm clock radio, the modern version rather than the classic 70s one. If you want it for a vid, let me know where to send it and I will post it across to you. Now, yes, it's a modern one rather than a vintage one, but it's still a flip one. And come on. I have to see the inside of a flip one. I really have no idea how they work. It must be a load of gears and a motor or motors, but come on, I know, although it's still a clock radio, the inside of that is gonna be interesting. So that's what this video is today, trying to fix a modern 40 bush flip alarm clock. Let's get started. Okay, here it is, and look at it. It does look nice, and it really has got a retro look about it. Now, unfortunately, it's definitely not working. When you move this, little wheel round here it should turn the time the minutes and the hour so once it gets to 59 then it will turn the hour but it's not doing anything this one here is for the alarm over this side so hours minutes and alarm and when we turn this it is actually moving around so let's take it apart and see if we can find out why this is not moving this i've put batteries in at the moment it appears that the uh if you listen there, it appears that the radio is working and also I've done it via an adapter as well and that appears to be working. I think this is a mechanical issue. So let's get right into it. Right, okay, so this popped out of somewhere. Maybe that's the fault or this is the thing you turn. How does this work now? Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, it reminds me of a train station. Oh, look at that. Oh, that feels good. AM and PM. Excellent. Actually, I hope I do get this working. Right, so is it something to do with this gear here? We've got a screw in there. I wonder where that one goes. Oh, hold on. What's that? Oh, no, that's there, little catch there. Where did this thing pop out of, I wonder? So look, if I'm turning this. Oh, this is for the alarm, of course. This is just to turn this one for the alarm, isn't it? Right, so it's definitely not this because this just goes on the other side of this knob here, which then goes somewhere and turns the alarm. So we know that the alarm is, we know the alarm is working all right. Well, we don't know the alarm's working out, we just know it turns. So what we have to do is we have to open this up to see why when we turn this, it's not corresponding to anything else. So a little screw there. So this would just be a kind of, uh, probably an off the shelf park. Can you see here, HD 1688. Sheng Bang, made in, well, it's gonna be China, isn't it? Right, okay, so I need to somehow get into this bit here. Should I undo the screws from here, see what happens? Excellent, it's coming out, fantastic. Right, so now, actually, do you know what we can do? We can unhook this completely from here, and then we can just work on this by itself and I can just do up, get a new cable tie at the end and it'll be easier to film then for me because we know the problems with this thing here, don't we? Well, we think it is. There we go, right, let's check out this. So basically, when I turn this, it should be moving this thing in here. Let's see if it is or not. Oh yeah, I can feel something moving, so why is that not corresponding to moving this thing? Oh, look at that, that just pops out like that. Ooh, does that look broken? Looks a bit iffy in the middle there, doesn't it? Oh, 
Ah. Do you know what? I bet you, I bet you that that is supposed to be Bet is that supposed to be an ear or something onto onto something in here? Right, let's take this thing apart and see what's going on. Right, so this is off now. Yeah, that's snapped from there, isn't it? Look, and you see it's slightly white just here. So basically, this thing here needs to be put back onto there. But I wonder how easy it is to turn. Is that just going to snap again? See, that's the problem with cheap products. Like all this plastic and everything's gone into it, and this here could be really well made. But then, if this tiny little part's not well made, it's just going to break. Maybe it was dropped, and would this thing, you know, moving like that be enough to shear this off here? I don't know. The question is, how fixable is that going to be? because it needs to be very strong and there's only a tiny little surface area to glue that back onto. Can you see there? Well, I'm pretty certain that's the problem because when I turn this here, this, uh, let's pop this back on a second. When I turn this, we should find that this is moving. Yeah, look closely now, ready? There you go, you see it's turning. Interestingly, it turns both ways, but yet, when it comes to it, you're only supposed to turn them one way. Now, let's uh, just connect this back up to the board and see what happens. Excellent. Did you see it tick? Oh, lovely. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. So although this thing doesn't do seconds, you can see it is actually turning every second. Oh, how good is that? Right, so 100% then the fault is the fact that that thing on the other side has just snapped off. Right, okay, so I've got a little bit of super glue. There's a little dot on there. And I put a little bit on there. Let's put them together and see what happens. Now. Right, okay, so what I've done is I've super glued this bit onto here and I've also used my soldering iron to melt the plastic together. So if you look closely there now, you can see it's a melted mess there and also a melted mess there. So basically I've melted the bit that was sticking out onto this end bit here and it feels quite strong. So hopefully between the super glue and the melting, I'm hoping now that that will be a bit of a, a, bit of a stronger, stronger repair. So now I have to put this all back together. And as far as the flip thing's working, Basically, it works quite nice. If you have a look here now, you don't need to line it up. Just by putting it back together, it finds its own home. And now, watch, when I go across here, it's actually quite therapeutic the way it works. Watch, there's 52, 53, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh, 9. There, look at that. And the reason it stops going around more and more is, if you have a look here, can you see there's these little bits here? and here and they stop it from going further so that is a really really nice action even if I can't get this working I'm happy that I now know how it works there that was just gravity you see when it's like this normally it's going to be completely down it's just I'm facing up to show the camera and basically what happens is so this middle one here is doing the minutes and the alarm is on the outer one here so what I need to do is this is the one that adjusts the alarm so for example when I've read the reviews on this a lot of people are saying that to set the alarm for eight you actually need to set it for seven so it's out so what I'm gonna do is if I get it back together and if it's ticking and working then I'm gonna set the alarm if I set it for 12 and it goes off at 2 then all I have to do is move it from 2 to take it off and move it to 12 and then hopefully that will be accurate. So right now I really don't know where this should be set. So, uh, well actually I suppose, should it be set the same as the same time as this, I wonder? Maybe I'll put everything to 12, maybe that's the secret. Yeah, so that's what I'll do, I'll put it all to 12 and then put it this on and then put it all back together.
not going to put the cable tie on it yet. I just want to see if it uh, if it goes back together. Well, I'm going to have to move the camera angle for this, aren't I? Give me a minute. Okay, let's pop some batteries in. Actually, let's leave the batteries out. Let's try the adapter. Oh, excellent. So that must be the alarm going off. Okay, and that's snooze down at the bottom. Apparently you can light, oh yes, you can light it up. Look, it's so bright in here, but look at the little lights, ready? Hold on one second. There, can you see the little light going? So you need to press this bottom button here to do the light. Oh, and it look, it flashes for a certain amount of time. Right, let me just hear if it's ticking. Yes, I can hear it ticking. Right, so we do need to, it looks like we do need to sort out the alarm, but let's just see if it goes from 2.03 to 2.04. Well, in fact, let's leave it on for a couple of minutes and see if it goes past those two. Yes, there goes one, come on, bring it over to 2.05 now. There we go, 205. Now, just make it a bit more interesting, I'm going to put it to 259 and see if it's got enough power to change the uh, to change over the hour as well. Ah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that had me go in there. Right, that took an extra couple of seconds. I'm just going to do that again, just to see if that's normal. That might well be completely normal. Yeah, there we go. So that's normal then. So it changes over to zero, zero, and then about 10 seconds later, it drops the, the next hour down. So there is about 10 seconds there where it's telling the incorrect time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to have to work out about this alarm thing. So once I've worked it out, I'll start filming again. So right now, I need to change this time here to around about four o'clock. This now, okay, taking it apart. Nice, it came out nice. I haven't moved anything there. The time still says 4.07. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off without moving it. You can see here, I'm not gonna move that. So we are currently 7.45. We're gonna move it to 4.07. So look, I've taken that off straight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, there. I haven't moved that. So now 4.07. That's all the way down here. I've put that on. 407, there. And even the alarm's only good for 15 minutes anyway. So there you go, I haven't moved anything there. So you can see I've done that perfectly. And now I'm gently gonna put it back into its home. Come on now, I don't wanna move anything. Come on, fit in, fit in. Right, there, it went in, okay. Yes, it moved to 408. It moved to 408, but that's only one minute, right. So now, let's do up the screws. I'm gonna put this in now, again, without moving it. There, I'm in, okay? And I didn't move that. So now I'm gonna place that here. Oh, oh, there you go, see? It moved, it moved, oh, it's still moving. It moved to 412 now, because any time it hits the back here, it just wants to move. But we're still okay, 412, I'm, I'm happy with that. If I can get that, if I can get it within 15 minutes again, I'm gonna be happy. There you go, so that's there, there. Right, I am in here and I'm in here and I haven't moved anything. So the first thing we have to do is make sure that the time is still moving, which it is. Right, so now let's set the time for, let's call it, let's call it six o'clock. Right, so it's 6.01. And now I'm gonna turn the alarm off at the back. Let's set this for, I'm moving it the correct way, the way of the arrow. Let's set this for 8.45, yeah? 
And now let's turn the alarm on, and now let's move the time for 8.45, and let's see if it's going to go off. I'm leaving it at that. Nine o'clock, but you see it's 15 minutes out, and that annoys me. Right, and then you've got two ways to do it. You can just press it down at the back here to put it on snooze, or you can turn it off at the back. And we'll just end on a bit of footage of it flipping over. Yeah, and that is it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe for more Trying to Fix videos. Take care. Bye now.